Uh, honey, I don't have time to talk very much, but I just want to let you know what's going on with your father. Uh, he will not stay out of my hair. Uh, oh, well, he's finally dosed off so I can get a few things done, but he just will not leave me alone. I was just in the bedroom earlier today, and he thought I had abandoned him. Martha, where are you? Why did you leave me there? Are you in there, Martha? Why did you leave me? You know, sometimes I just want a minute alone. The worst of it is the nights. I can't get any sleep. He is up and down all night long, and I, I just can't get any rest. Are you coming? I, I thought we'd have some ice cream and then watch this movie on TV. It's with that guy you like. I so need well. some sleep. It's after midnight. Please, just come on to bed and we'll watch it tomorrow. No, 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 it's not on tomorrow. It's on right now. You're going to miss it. All right, fine. Disrupted sleep is a major problem for many families facing dementia, and non-pharmacologic approaches are almost always required. Problems with sleep arise from a disrupted melatonin cycle, which alters the timing of the sleep. This can lead to conflict between caregiver needs and patient sleep patterns, such that the patient is napping during the day and the caregiver tries to get work done, but then at the end of the day when the caregiver is tired, the patient is well rested and raring to go. We can use sedating drugs to try and initiate sleep. These might include trazodone, mirtazapine, or when it can be obtained, chloral hydrate.